thanks y'all for watching. No sign of the big bug. It's getting really late. We just got a call book here. I text Mr. Brad and my dad. They won't give me the green light to kill him. So once he turns, he's gonna get smoked. Dude, he's under the beater right now. I'm like 21 yards. He's about to turn. There, it's a bloody red arrow, Valkyrie death switch. Bent a little when it hit him, must have got a rib, but covered in blood. I don't think this deer's gonna go very far. Dude, I'm so excited to put my hands on him. This is awesome. Let's go get him. Which side did he go up here? I think, yeah, he went down, he almost went down this trail. Oh, yeah, here we go.
Oh yeah, he's pumping me. Merle said, Mama tried, but the prison still won. Your transgression is mine as well. Anger grows in my bones, it could not tell. What you think? I'll find comfort. Well, it's been about an hour since we shot him. We lost blood earlier, so we picked my mom up. She's out here helping us track right now. Blood's starting to pick up about 70 yards from the feeder. Shot was a little further back than we saw, thought, but the blood's starting to look good, starting to pick up, so we'll find him here in a second, I think. Thanks, y'all, for watching. Stay tuned. Okay, we just got back to the truck. We got the whole family out here looking for him. Everybody says he's dead, but blood starts to slow. He stops in that last interview. He stopped right there, and there's a big pile of blood, but after that, we couldn't find anything, so. Everybody says he's dead. I think he's dead. The shot was a little further back than anticipated, but we're gonna give him the night. We think he's dead right now, but we're gonna come back in the morning. It's way easier just to do big circles when it's daylight and not miss anything, so. We're gonna head in for the night, have dinner, sleep, it sucks to leave a deer. I hate it. I haven't had this happen in years since I was a little kid, but it happens, and that's part of bow hunting for big deer. But we'll be back in the morning and put our hands on them. All right, guys, a little update for y'all. It's the next morning. We're out here looking for this buck, and uh, yeah, we just kind of all spread out. We're just covering ground right now, so we'll keep y'all updated. Stay tuned. <sighs> we walked for about an hour and 20 minutes. No buck, so I don't know. We've walked all directions. We're going to call this dog guy right here from Sonora and see if he can come bring his dog and find him. This dog won't work. Too small. But she hates the deer. Not smart enough, so we'll see. I'm going to give him a call. I'm texting Mr. Brand right now. He's about to reply. Once he replies, I'm going to call this guy. So y'all stay tuned. Okay, I'm calling him. Should I put his name in? Hey, Mr. Dave, this is Willie Waldrop. Hey, Willie. How you doing? Good, how are you? I shot a deer last night. I hit him a little back, like liver yeah. and one lung. And I was wondering if you'd come out here and bring a dog. Yeah, I can. Well, that would be... Bond Road? Yes, sir. I'll send you the directions. Mr. Brandon just sent me like a good descriptive way on how to get here. But that would be really great if you'd come out here and help us. Okay, how far, how far down Bond Road are you? I'll send you, I'll text you the directions right now. Okay, because I don't have like an iPhone, so sometimes they don't go through, so. Yes, sir, it's, it's kinda... 23 miles down the road, right across from the. Okay. And then you'll see, them. you'll see the canyon gate on the right, and then we're like a red pipe gate. Don't the big rock. And then the canyon has the giant rock, and straight to the left, you'll see a red pipe gate, and that's us. And then the gate should be unlocked. And it's like one and a half miles, two miles down to the lodge. We'll be in the lodge. Okay. Yeah. Um, let me get everything ready and I'll start heading that way. Yes, sir. Thank you. You bet. All right. See you soon. Okay. Well, sounds like it's a go. He seems super cool. He's going to get his dogs loaded up and head out here, so I'm pretty excited. <coughs> hey. Hopefully we find this deer, y'all stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Well, the devil can't scrap, but the Lord has won. And I'll talk to him on the rising sun. Good little interview. Good? Mm hmm What we've been looking for, time check is 109. We've been looking for, what is that, almost three hours now. 
Mr. Dave, Mr. Chance, they're great people. They're out here working hard. The dogs are working hard. We're working hard. We found an area where the buzzards all flew up, and now the buzzards are keep still circling above us. We just got to find where he's at. The dogs are working. Everyone's looking under the trees. I don't know. This deer went a lot further than we thought. We must have bumped him last night or this morning. But everyone thinks he's dead. We're going to keep looking. Hopefully, we can get our hands on him soon. This is crazy. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't do anything. No problem. <laughs> Jeez. Damn it. He That's went a long crazy. damn way for yeah, him. That's the end of the story for the cucumber buck. The buzzards was still here? I don't know. It's about nine o'clock, we just finished our evening hunt. Here we are with the cucumber buck. It's been a crazy one. This buck has heck of a story behind him after this week. Been hunting him since opening day now. Colton and I came out, put Colton on the muley buck. He made a great shot and smoked him. Then that night, or the next night, I was up to bat on cucumber. I haven't seen him at a feeder ever. He's only been on camera a few times. And we got on this coal I was about to shoot. And as soon as I was about to draw, he steps out. And I promise you it's not fake. It looks fake in the video, but we were freaking out. He came in. Walked straight into this side of our, our side of the feeder, and I drew back. He was quartering away, and he walked, walked, and he picked his head up, and he looked like he was gonna go. So I pulled through the shot and I hit him a little further back than anticipated. Thought it was better than it was, so we went in there about 30 minutes later and tried to find him. But we believed that we jumped him up. So we kept looking that night, then finally backed out, and then came back next this morning. Looked all around. And finally I was like, I don't know, I just feel like it'd be better if we called the dog. So I, Mr. Brandon gave me the number of Mr. Dave and uh, his son Chance. They came out, brought their two dogs. We looked, we did a total of like 6.7 miles, I think he said today. Looked all around, no blood, nothing. So we'd have never found this deer on our own. We went way down the left, like 800 yards left of where I shot him at. Sure enough, a bunch of buzzards jumped up and the dogs got us right on him after a while. But we found him, he wasn't eating up bad at all. Cape's still good, the meat's probably not great, but I want to say huge thanks to my parents, huge thanks to Mr. David and his son Chance for coming out. I'll pop up their information on the screen right now if you ever need help blood trailing in Texas. These are the guys to do it. Huge thanks to Colton for filming and sticking with me throughout this whole thing. I mean, number three on the 200 inch list for the year, he's number three. So, we got three down, a bunch more to kill this year. Can't wait, hope you are looking forward to the next videos. Videos have been awesome lately, I hope you all are enjoying. I love making them, love making them good friends and family and new friends. Super stoked, one of my biggest deer ever. Wish the shot was better, but that's just part of it. That's part of bow hunting, big deer. Something's gonna happen eventually. But we got them, that's all that matters. Uh, that's the end of today's video, you guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. Huge thanks to my parents, Mr. David and Mr. Chance and Colton for filming. Couldn't have done it without you guys. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching this episode of Feathered Arrow TV. God's about the bad we've done Merle said mama tried but the prison still won <laughs>